In this episode, we talk about boosting your career through professor relationships. What's up everyone, this is Jake Voorhees and you are watching episode 6 of the 1% Engineer Show. Today we'll be continuing the series on the top 10 job hunting tips for engineers. Students have no idea because they're too busy swiping right, playing with that new filter and practicing beer pong, but your professors are some of the most connected, influential, and powerful people you may ever meet over your entire career. Don't miss an opportunity to stay connected forever. You may wonder what this person did to be up front lecturing even though you're barely paying attention because you were up all night doing your engineering homework, but in order to be there, they had to embark on a serious academic career, including master's degree, PhD, a ton of research projects and paper submissions, lots of professional networking events and conferences, including connections to public authorities who sometimes fund university research. When these professors get in touch with people and say, hey, I know Sally Sue or Bob the Builder and would love to connect you to, that someone actually perks up like you do with a new Tinder message because the professor is so well respected. So here's three tips for getting closer with your professors so you don't have to rely on your Call of Duty team for success in life. One, be a good lecture student. No, not just get good grades and be a good student. Be a good lecture student. Participate in class. Stay after and ask questions. Go to their office hours. Show them that you're doing everything you can to prevail and you want to succeed. I can't say this enough, participate in class. Professors love it when people actually participate, raise their hand, don't just sit with their friends and look at their laptops in class, they actually participate. Two, become a TA or a grader. I agree for a transportation research course when I was a senior at Delaware and this relationship led me to be connected to grad school and without that relationship I certainly would have never gotten accepted to the program. Helping with the professor shows that you care about the industry, that you want to help them, and that you are dedicated to your time in engineering. This professor will go to bat for you afterwards. Way number three, volunteer to get involved. Many professors are involved with professional societies and they may even be a mentor to one of these society groups on campus. So poke around and find out which professors these are and volunteer to get involved with the society they run. Another way you can get involved is offer to volunteer with their grad research students. I gave examples of how to do this in episode three. If you follow some of this advice in college, you can return to these professors at the end when you're a senior and you can ask for help back. You can get letters of recommendation from them for what's next. You can ask them to be on your reference list. You can ask them to connect you with people in the industry. You can then ask for help after you have helped them because you believe believe in engineering, you want to succeed, you want to have the best possible career you can, and this professor believes in you. You are worth their recommendation and they know you will not let them down. So in summary, the three things you can do to get closer to your professors are be a good lecture student, offer to be a TA or a grader, and volunteer to get involved. Question of the day, who is your favorite professor or teacher and why? Stay tuned for episode seven where I talk about how to get involved with engineering societies and why that can be great for getting a job after college. Thanks for watching the 1% engineer show guys and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers!